Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jay, and I am terminally ill with audiophilia, which means if I don't listen to music every single day, it'll only get worse. So in my search for what to listen to next, I got a call from Soundstage, Doug Schneider, and he was like, hey, you want to review these speakers? These are supposed to be really good. Gordon had some problems with it. So I said, yeah, I want to do it. So here they are. Now, what I do on the Take 2 series of Soundstage is I take something that has already been reviewed by Soundstage reviewers and I give a second life, second opinion, second um, you know, take on the product. And I'm glad I did on this one especially because Gordon Brockhouse reviewed this on February 15, 2021 and he had some problems with the speaker. It would cut in and out, in and, out and it won't connect properly. Now, in my space, I thought I would run into the same problem. I wasn't very hopeful, to be honest with you. But when I connected it, it connected flawlessly, never dropped out. It just played beautifully. So here I am. I'm going to give you my experience with the speakers and the system. But if you want to know more about the speaker itself, then make sure to read Gordon Brockhouse's review on SoundStageSimplify.com or in the link description below. He goes into very good detail about the technology and stuff like that but I'm just here to give you my opinion so when I connected them it was very intuitive all I had to do was click link in the back of the speaker and in the, in the back of the um, sound hub and then click link again on the sound hub so you're clicking like four times there's a quick start guide which is very intuitive you just follow that and you should be fine you should be good to go once you're done that, you're able to connect it with the sound hub through your mobile device or iPad or whatnot and play music. And better yet, I'm able to connect it to my TV wirelessly as well, which is fabulous because there, I don't need to run optical. I don't need to run all these things. I can just choose my sound um, setting on the TV itself, which is great. Now I don't have to fiddle around with any cables. I want things to be simple as possible in my entertainment room. So this small speaker, I was quite, quite surprised by it because not only is it good for entertainment in terms of movies, in terms of gaming, it is so good for music as well. So it, it checked off my music criteria first. And of course, because I'm a music nut, I was listening to music right away. And I just texted, you know, Doug Schneider, Oh my God, these are fantastic. I might actually buy these. And that's another problem that I have is I wanna buy everything that comes in here. So in comparison with the other active speakers, like for example, Bocard A500, um, which is a similar system here. It looks very similar. I don't think this is the exact same, but nevertheless, it is a very similar system. The other speakers are a little bit bigger. So they have this uh, more bass, and they are more expensive speakers, so they have more extension in the bass region. But what's special about these speakers that kind of um, segregates away from the rest is that these speakers are small. And because they're so small, they create this magnificent center imaging, even though there's a gigantic TV right in the middle of my room. It creates this pinpoint imaging and this grand scale of sound stage not in terms of you know big speaker scale big speaker big speakers sound bigger that kind of scale is not with the speaker the speaker sounds like a small speaker but the bass is very tight and extends down quite lower than you would expect i mean to an extent where i don't really have much problem when i play ps5 or watch netflix with those explosions and gunshots and stuff like that I have almost no problems with the bass output on the small speaker and that is something to be said <laughs> when it comes to that kind of performance on a small speaker that is some achievement right there but you can also add a subwoofer if you want to and i definitely will if i decide to get these speakers i definitely will add a subwoofer but as it is it sounds pretty darn good with great extension and most of all fast agile bass now, when it comes to the high frequency, it is also very interesting because it's not super refined, but refined enough that it is just kind of astonishing that this is an active speaker. It sounds open. It has fluidity. It sounds like a good uh, speaker, like a, like a passive speaker. It doesn't sound too classy to me. 
So I think Class D and active speakers has come a long way, especially uh, with certain technologies in place now. So these speakers, um, when they play, the, the, the thing that is impressive to me is the tone. The tone is actually something quite hard for active speakers to nail down, but the tone on the speaker is quite, quite good. The, the strings have impact and weight to them despite the size of the speaker. And the eyes fool you. The eyes fool you. The small speakers, but there's impact in the strings and instruments with great separation. And um, you know, the, the instruments don't sound cluttered at all. They have their place. Everything falls in line while having this gigantic sound stage as if you're in a stadium, a bigger room than, you know, perceived to the eye. So that's something to be said. I mean, just, just magnificent. I love this tiny little speaker. It's so tiny, but it sounds bigger than, bigger than, you know, bigger than it looks, which is quite impressive and fun. Now, this has a 5.25 inch woofer. So it's definitely not gonna go down as low as other speakers, I, like I said. It also has a 50 watt class D amplification. So it's not gonna play it as loud as some other op alternatives out there that is you know, meant to play in a bigger room. This is meant for a more small entertainment living room space, which these speakers are fantastic at. Now, even though they don't play as loud um, in let's say medium to large size rooms, in this room, in a smaller entertainment room size, I never had to go really past 50 which is quite enough. Um, so it has a lot of headroom, a lot of bass, and you know, it doesn't clip easily. I never really clipped these speakers whatsoever, uh, even with demanding tracks. So 50 watts is not a lot, especially in class D, but it's enough for most small rooms, which is what these speakers are meant to be. So convenient, small room. I would get these any day in a heartbeat compared to other sound, um, devices like sound bars and stuff like that out there when it comes to entertainment. So if you're looking for like, you know, sound bars and stuff like that for entertainment, definitely consider these. These are great for both music and movies and gaming. It's easier said than done. To make a speaker that sounds good for both movies and dialogue, uh, you know, gaming and music, that's quite hard because, you know, the speaker has to be articulate enough that the dialogues are clear for movies and there has to be enough boom in the bass region for explosions and stuff like that in gaming and you know watching movies while being smooth enough and non-fatiguing enough for musical enjoyment um, and that's what these do which is quite impressive i mean there's not a lot of speakers out there that can do what these do in my opinion they kind of balance both sides of the equation which makes these a perfect entertainment small system, especially if you don't want big amplifiers and stuff like that, that uh, you know, a lot of audiophiles like me do have. In terms of placement also, it's very easy because these are small speakers, you know, you can play around with the toe-in, but I like it with a little bit of kind of a lot of toe-in, so that I get that really pinpoint imaging in the middle, but you can play around with toe-in, uh, you can Tow it out into the room and you get a little bit larger sound stage sense of scale and it, it makes a bigger sweet spot which i love because if i have my girlfriend or my friends here playing games or watching movies together then we want that larger sweet spot so everyone can enjoy the sound and it, you can achieve that very easily with this speaker it is not placement sensitive and you can place them you know uh, closer to the wall behind them because they're small speakers and they don't get bloated at all so I absolutely love the placement of these speakers as well. It goes with the idea of being flexible, easy to work with in the entertainment room. You don't want to be fiddling around. You just want to plug and play. And that's what these speakers are. It is intuitive design that is just smart, which I absolutely dig. And it works with Blue Us app, which is a fantastic app in my opinion. So you have that flexibility with you know multiple inputs you know it has hdmi arc in the back of the uh, sound hub so you have you know optical and coax and stuff like that so it's flexible in terms of connection and you know whatnot and also it has this beautiful remote with a beautiful volume knob in the front 
um, which just is intuitive and easy, small, but quality remote. Just love this remote. So you have all these options that makes it easy for you to play music, play entertainment, play you know games without getting off from your couch, which I think is what you want when you come when it comes down to you know an entertainment room um, with a TV and stuff like that for multiple purposes. And it's just a quick you know switch of inputs if you want to go from music listening to TV, uh, gaming and all that stuff. In fact, you can have them all in, you know, like a wireless system as well. So I think it's very intuitive. I think it is a very smart design. I would love to see this kind of technology implemented in other speakers because this also comes in a passive version as well. So they're making, they're taking the passive version and making it into uh, active versions by adding technology and DSP and stuff like that, which I think is a smart move and definitely caters to a different type of people when it comes to listening to uh, music and enjoying entertainment. So very smart design. I very much approve of this and I am very glad that I got to review this. So thank you for watching. If this video was helpful to you, make sure to smash that like button. That's a little bit weird. Make sure to click really hard on that like button and also consider subscribing for more episodes of Take Two on Soundstage. Until next time.